Whoosh. What's up guys, how's it going? It's Mr. Guitarman here. I am in Penn State right now because these college kids tweeted at me with a cool project that they're working on and I just had to see it with my own eyes. This place has science and football helmets. Clearly it's the right place. If you're doing science right, you're gonna need some head protection. My name is Michael Paul, and I'm the leader of the Lunar Lion team. About three years ago, I said, what project could we take on to really make our mark and say Penn State is here and Penn State is big in space? So you pick something very small? I something. pick something small. We'll just land a spacecraft on the moon. Yeah, that's all. What are some of the hurdles that you guys need to get over? There's the launch vehicle, which is as big as a building, mm -hmm. that gets the spacecraft up off the Earth and puts it on its path to its destination. For any mission, that launch element is a very big part of the cost and the effort of the mission. We're not building that launch vehicle. We are procuring a launch, and so our cost is going to be less than $10 million. And this mission is certainly challenging, but we've got all the pieces in place to make it work. Hello. Hello. How's it going? How's it going, man? My name is Ajit Ibrahim. I'm the student team leader at the Lunar Line program. We are putting Penn State on the moon. These kids are going to the moon. We're going to do it. Basically, this entire thing that you see right here is what we are going to put in that big launch vehicle that shoots us into space towards the moon. As soon as we get out of that launch vehicle, this massive engine propels us towards the moon, and as this soon as here? that happens, it's going to drop off. The thing you see right here is what's going to travel from the Earth to the lunar surface. All right, so you're headed towards the moon. You're probably flying really, really fast. So then how do you stop yourself? This thing fires off and slows us down, and then as soon as this is done, gets jettisoned. Another one. Away. Can I keep this one too? Keep that one too. So then this is your actual lunar lander, right? Yep. This is the thing that's gonna land on the surface of the moon and after we do a systems check, take some high definition pictures, this is the thing that's gonna fire off again and travel 500 meters uh -huh. and then land. But you guys don't have any legs, you don't have any wheels, how are you gonna land on the moon without hurting your spacecraft? We have uh, crushable pads right here and the reason we don't have wheels is because rule of thumb in space, if it can move, it can break. So how big is this thing? This thing is about the size, roughly the size of a dinner table. Do you guys have any of these parts that we could see? So this is how we test our rocket engines on the ground before we launch them into space. Where do you attach a rocket engine? I know it's not the most impressive engine, but the engine is actually right there. That's it? That's it. A little guy? It doesn't put out that much thrust, but on the moon, there's only about one sixth of the Earth gravity, so you get more bang for your buck. There's no oxygen on the moon, so how do you earn your, your rocket thrust? Well, we actually have to supply the oxygen in the form of liquid oxygen. So alcohol comes in from here, and then our liquid oxygen comes in from there. We spark the spark plug, and then we get fire coming out the spark other end. Spark plug in there? There's a spark plug, just like a traditional auto spark plug. Very cool. So as if rockets weren't cool enough, these guys are also working with lasers. What, what does this do? So what this is, is a laser etching machine. So you could put acrylic, you could put wood, you could put lots of different things inside of here. What are you guys going to be etching? We're actually going to be etching on the Lunar Lander. Um, we're going to be putting people's signatures or kind of whatever little sayings they want around the outside. Um, actually, it's going to look kind of like this in gold. And it's going to be in the moon forever, basically. Yep. These guys are giving me the opportunity to etch something onto the Lunar Lander. So leave me a comment down below with what you think I should say. All right, well this sounds really cool and really interesting. How can people help? People can help by going to rockethub.com slash lunarlionpsu, all lowercase letters, and seeing what we have to offer there and deciding what level they want to contribute at. They can go to our website, lunarlion.psu.edu, and learn more about the program there. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. Let us know how we're doing. Let us know what uh, you like about the project, and, uh, and, and we'll have people standing by to take your questions. All right, guys, thanks for watching.